There's so much talk right now about gas prices. Who's at fault? Is it President Obama for not drilling enough? Is it OPEC for price fixing? Could it be the greedy oil companies? There are many reasons being floated as to why gas prices are so high, but there is one that you aren't going to hear from any other media around town. Ben has the reality check. Well, it is true that there are a number of reasons gas prices could be so high, but if you really want the truth, the answer is pretty simple, but it's very hard to fix. And it's right here. Gas is so expensive because this dollar is not worth what it used to be. The fiat dollar means that the price of oil is going up, and there is no real way to bring it down without dealing with the value of what you have in your wallet. Let's start with what a fiat dollar is. The word fiat is from the Latin, meaning let it be done, simply meaning that the value of a dollar is not based on anything. The Federal Reserve prints money without a standard of gold or silver. The dollar, therefore, it gets its value from nothing other than government decree. So when you print money, and then more money, and then more money, the value of each and every dollar drops. So why does that mean gas prices are so high? Well, they're high because the price of oil is so high, right? Well, actually, it's not. In fact, the price of oil, according to a recent article in Forbes magazine, is unusually low. How can that be? Not only that, but the article's authors also say that gas prices would have to rise by another 65 to 75 cents just to be normal. This makes sense? Now listen, I'm pretty good at explaining things, but you're going to have to stay with me to understand this. Are you ready? I'm going to use a cup here to represent one barrel of what's called West Texas Intermediate Crude Oil, also known as WTI. Now this barrel would trade at $105.88. That's the value of this oil in dollars. But it also trades at 79.95 euros, 8,439.69 yen, and 67.13 and British pounds. All different currencies that express the price of one barrel of oil. What's important, though, is that the value of this oil isn't based on any of these currencies. It is tied to gold. One barrel of WTI is valued at 0 0.0602 ounces of gold. Are you with me? The value of oil is tied to the value of gold. So why is the price of oil undervalued? Well, get this. Since January 1st of 1971, there have been 493 months. During that time, the price of WTI has averaged 0.732 ounces of gold. Now, don't think in price of dollars here. Right now, we're talking about gold. So gold right now in oil is trading at 0.0602 ounces of gold for one barrel of oil. The WTI, that means, is only at 82% of its average right now, which means the price would have to rise and will rise at least another 75 cents a gallon just to hit its average. So when Republicans say that if only President Obama would have approved the Keystone Pipeline, the price of gas would drop, they're incorrect. It is true that President Obama wants alternative energy. It's true that he has said he doesn't have a problem with high prices, but he prefers a gradual adjustment. But even if the U.S. market were flooded with oil, the price would not drop dramatically because oil right now is underpriced. Recently, I also told you that part of the reason prices are so high is because oil companies are selling our oil in China and India. Now, it is true that this is not a supply issue because of our warm winter, and there's actually much more gas and oil on hand in America than oil companies have predicted. But I'll tell you this, I was incorrect because if oil companies refused to sell overseas and they kept all of that oil here, it would also not have a dramatic effect on gas prices. So here's what you need to know. The solution to this problem is in the value of our currency. You know, the price of gold is soaring. You know that. But do you realize that because the dollar is currently floating undefined fiat currency, there is no limit on how far the price of gold in dollars can rise. And therefore, there is no ultimate ceiling on gasoline prices. Look, our Fed chairman, Ben Bernanke, he just keeps on printing money. So if what I'm telling you is true, Shouldn't the Fed stop printing in order to adjust the rising cost of oil and gas? Well, Bernanke uses a core CPI index to guide monetary policy. It's supposed to control the value of money against inflation. But 
That index excludes the price of two things, food and energy. So for Bernanke, gas prices aren't a problem. For you, they are. And that is Reality Check. If you would like to make your voice heard on this story, you can head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by simply searching him, Ben Swan, WXIS.